Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I am going to do is I am going to make this character mount onto that horse you can see like this. So yeah, when I press E this character will go to the horse. So and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so start implementing the riding. So to get back on the horse, I need a animation, an animation. So I'm going to use um, this animation when the character, my player character is on top of the horse. Right. So I'll download this one without a skin. And import it into my character animations. I'll put under right no it should be under night horse riding and put it like this night to skeleton okay so this is the animation or oh, this is the pose so now without thinking about climbing on top of the anime the horse animation i'll just move my character to the horse so yeah first in the player i need well not inside the player in human yeah so this comes with uh, the interactable interface so now I need I have already implemented this uh, for under project setting settings this interact action so I'll get that action under interactions in my ch human class interact action event interact okay now I should check if I already have a valid interactable actor. Put it here. So is valid if I have a valid interactable actor actor. If that is valid, then I should perform or interact. Um yeah I have already defined this in my interface now yeah perform the interact and after that I should set this actor to none because if I press the interact button again then I would have a problem <coughs> okay so let's implement interaction part and so for the horse interacting means climbing onto the horse uh, I'll collapse these two parts as what should I call it? Player detection because I need to keep this clean. Right and interact, not the action event, this one 
event interact which comes from BTI interactable BPI interactable should I give a different name because I already have action also the same name in I'll name it no let's leave it just like this for now I have to be careful but yeah I'll name it start interaction in that way I wouldn't confuse yeah that's better okay so I have to implement this again start interaction and now here I should implement the getting back on horse part how can I do this so I'll get this interacting actor should I get this as an instead of a actor I think I should get it as a character because in that way I should be able to play an animation montage play an a montage yeah I can do that and I'll create a montage with this create an a montage and it should be looping right I'll put that I'll sit in pause so this is the ride in animation and then I should move my character on here so first I need to know the exact location I should move my character so to detect that I'll just put this animation under this can I do that looks like I can't Okay, let's add a, a skeletal mesh and I do and as for the animation I'll use oh, this one this is I'm not going to use this it like this I just want to see the location the exact location I should put this character so I'll add to get the location I'll add a scene here I'll call it rider location and I'll put this one under that okay we have a problem this character this horse should be facing this way It's 90 and now it is off Y should be 0 and X also yeah now he's facing front and where's my rider okay he's there now I should put him in a position like this okay after that mm, yeah okay that's good enough okay so this is the location I should put and so I can delete the rider now delete it and here after that part 
wait I have a little problem so I just put a skeletal mesh and the character wouldn't have the same location as that but let's see right now all I have to do is how can I attach another character to my ca to another one let's try this attach to component and also I think I might do something like set this character's uh, movement mode to flying set movement mode to flying I should do that before this part this do this and connect it and let's uh, for now let's just snap snap to target scale and let's see how it looks first I should put interacting actor as self and here for the parent I should give this rider location okay now let's see what happens go there mount okay this is not what I expected right so actually we should set the this rider location using this player character or this human so let's do that put him under here and now uh, for this one I'll give uh, can we change the animation here character mesh yeah animation I'll give an animation asset post right in and put it here okay yeah now I can adjust this one this and I have to rotate it okay so now yeah now this is the I'll make it 60 okay so this is the rider location the correct one so I'll delete this one and let's check if that works mount right so yeah we have a problem so I should disable other functions when I am on the when I'm on the Horse. Yeah. Camera moment is okay. And if I press any other moment buttons, then I'm in trouble. But that's a problem for another day. I mean, the next episode. Alright, and uh, that's all I want to do for today. So. In the next episode wait yeah in the next episode uh, let's work on the stuff like how to 
how to handle the input so yeah as you can see that in this moment uh, uh, my character my this this character should not take any movement input so attack inputs and so let's see how to deal with those complexities in the next episode all right so see hope you learned something and let me know if you have any questions and right see you in the next episode